tools are, I mean, aside from Nikita, which has great uses off stage, but not really too useful in neutral, um, his best rushdown tool is dash attack, which is a single move that sends in a single fashion. For all of these empty hops and jump around tricks that ya boy, that I was going to call him ya boy X, but it is in fact just, well, it is your boy X, I suppose. Either way, like these jump in tricks, he's gonna have to punish out of shield rather consistently, and that shield's already looking rather small. <laughs> Oh, I also like the, the quick, aggressive way to get off the edge. Not necessarily aggressive in terms of throwing out a hitbox, but aggressive in terms of no downtime from grabbing the ledge to trying to get back onto stage. Recognizing that, like, you know, sometimes Snake, you know, it takes time for him to get his whole, you know, trap set up. So, but granted, there is also counterplay to that as well. He's dead. Oh, wow. A huge trade for Coltman. Yeah, we always talk about how Snake loves trading, but in that situation, even more so, the fact that uh, it left X without a jump off stage means that now he has the lead and he can maybe play much more of the game plan that he's comfortable with. Oh, but as I say that, one of the disadvantages to, you know, the game plan you're comfortable with if you're Snake, oftentimes that means, you know, just pulling grenades, throwing projectiles, but that does often require you to give up stage control. And against Marth, putting yourself in the corner sometimes is just so, so scary. Oh, he's dropping all of these bombs, though, trying to... I guess this is... Oh, okay, well, never mind. To that, uh, to that initial minefield, X weaves through it all and finds himself not only a stock, but a pretty great situation after all that. 58 and climbing. Ooh. Yeah, Snake is a bit of a floaty character, can kind of find himself to be a really huge target in the air, especially, you know, from a character like Marth. You see now how he's going for these F tilts uh, and, like, short hop forward airs to, you know, counter, uh, what, you know, Coltman when he ever he tries to take into the air with an aerial. So, yeah, now we're seeing a much more grounded approach. That was brilliant! The the clutch crouch crawl to get in range? I did. I would have never expected that. And that worked out fantastically for him. That stock is massive. Coltman looking great right now. Slipping right under the jabs and 72 in a blink of an eye. There's like, when Snake has his lead, he can above and within these explosions with reckless abandon up smash coming in clutch this entire stock. And a dash attack gets him right back to center and still in frame advantage. That's what's gonna do it. And yeah, wow, a blitz of a blast stock right there. Coltman looking really, really good. And that is one of those, like when you when you go down stock one, like when you lose your first stock That's right. against the character who, um, you know, has a, like a very good defensive game plan, you know, where they can play to a lead, it's, it's frustrating. You know, and you're like, ah, oh, now I have to play to this. But when you lose your second stock, and now it's two stocks to one, it's so much harder to keep your cool. Because now you're so hyper aware of the fact that, like, every hit matters. And we all know how Snake's hits are good. They, they make good. They do make... They make promise that they, that they supply. So much of it, in fact. But I mean, what we saw in early that early game one is that when X wanted to keep you on, wanted to keep Coltman on ledge, he kept him there for a good while. I would like this. I mean, I know he died, uh, theoretically died for it in game one. But going for these grabs, um, while you don't get much off them in terms of damage, you get positional awareness and you make Snake unable to do the best thing, arguably the best thing about the character, which is pull grenades in any situation. Like you're getting guaranteed damage and, and potentially a guaranteed uh, situation or a guaranteed advantage after every one of these grabs. Ooh. All right, and now we have ooh, Coleman once again being pushed to the corner. That was huge, but doesn't get the tipper spacing. And that means that Coleman is going to be living for just a little bit longer. And even if he doesn't take the stock, he might be able to get some more good in. Try to keep it a little bit more even. None of these tippers are connecting. 
He has to recover super high. He actually manages to make it back down to the ground, but the tipper up air of all moves. Great awareness from uh, X actually takes that stock as he uh, is sitting at a pretty comfortable 80, 81%. And it's, it's nothing that Snake can't come back from. It's, I mean, like, these grenades doing 10 good a stop, I mean, 10 good a pop, 128 in a blink of an eye. Wait, did he use his jump? Okay, it doesn't matter. Dolphin Slash is, is just that good. Yep. PSA, that uh, that C4 is on the, the right platform in the center of it. Oh, does not need it, though. Instead, we have that amazing coverage using the up smash to just have a, another long-lasting hitbox to persist in the trap. Sacrificial lamb. Sometimes Snake makes his own body. It's like, yeah, you get up, attack me. I take your, I take your slice, but <laughs> your stock is forfeit because of it. <laughs> Must stab Snake and then Snake just smiles. <laughs> you hear the to Looney Tunes whistle sound effect from above. You, you fallen right for my trap. <laughs> the body was a fake. Making me the victor. <laughs> oh, another, another one of these dancing blade mix ups, but losing the, losing the interaction because of it. Oh man, that, that epto is just. He's primed. He's in a prime spot. Oh, I love he lets go of the control of Nikita at just the right time to sneak in a dash attack. And now look at this completely even percent between these two. Only three actually, you know, stating the difference. And oh, we're seeing kind of an aggressive approach from Cal Coltman right now. This grab won't get you much, but it gets you damage, and that's a cheeky little setup. I like that a lot. Make, knowing the grab release would get Snake to that platform, and then he's put basically what, in a 50-50. Do you shield or not? At 138, choosing the wrong option could have been death. I think his own grenade. The grenade exploding kill him right there? I think it did. And then, all right, I think it was C4. Just a plain old it C4 was. just hanging out. Uh, he had placed it there after... He, he had placed it there on before he died in that previous stock, and... Awareness on Coltman's part and back there yeah, of on X. We forgot to make our PSA announcement. Uh, apologize, Dax. Apologize, Sorry, Dax. Dax. It's our fault. Sorry, we did you wrong. Oh, uh, where are you going, buddy? What? It's 11 for now. Oh, interesting. Roll? That was actually really smart from X to go down and go for the Dolphin Slash to get just a little extra damage in. That should be it. Yeah. Great job with that back air X. Uh, with a relatively comfortable game, too. We now have the score tied up 1-1. Yeah, very keenly aware on at this moment. Like Coltman rolls, he's he still gets him, he still gets him going high, and he hears the grenade pull. He hears our every or is ready for the grenade pull. And when Snake is pulling the grenade, it's a lot easier to punish him when he's when he's floating above you like that because c4 can be kind of dangerous as he can detonate at any time but there's a depth there's a consistent animation to the grenade pull and one tipper ought to do it i also i love the fact that he went for up air right there that was just such good awareness of his character and what could only kill in that situation and yeah, really sublime play coming out from x overall like he he manages himself against Snake's resource game. He kept his good under control. And at the end of the day, he got the tippers he needed when he needed them to confirm stocks. That was just clean, fundamental play and yeah. fundamental anti-Snake I do think play. he was, generally speaking, he was kind of struggling to finish stocks, which uh, didn't really bite him to the fullest extent in that game. But... As we move deeper and deeper into this set, that could be a problem. The fact that he was taking stocks from like sour spot forward tilt into grenade explosion at like 150, you know? Yeah, I mean, there'll always be the problem of Marth, uh, Marth right, the, uh, the uh, of Marthritis. But if he can, if he can keep his neutral under control of, and just keep winning it over and over and over again, or keep open at let Coltman at ledge over and over and over again then the stock will come eventually, and it's good patience on his part. And it's rough to get your tippers on stuff that doesn't matter. Like, he's tippered grenades, he's tippered the cypher. 
He's, uh, I'm wondering, he's what do you think the thought process on uh, going to Battlefield Game 3 was for Coleman? Because it seems like at the moment, uh, X is doing a fantastic job using these platforms uh, along with his sword to just maintain consistent, safe pressure. So what advantages do you think Snake has that Coleman should maybe start trying to abuse? Well, definitely not trying to pressure on these platforms as he absolutely dies from it from the tipper up air, uh, tipper up tilt, excuse me. But Snake on this stage <laughs> gains a ton from being able, being able to control center a lot more consistently. And C4 on these platforms covers more than it does on PS2 because there's the best stage overall. So as long as he's, he maintains center, then Coltman will inevitably find uh, find the openings that he needs to take these stocks, and Snake doesn't need many. But it's like what Marth wow. and what every oh, wow that down air, that down smash was prime. That was honestly so fantastic. The way he threw that Nikita to stuff out the high recovery, and then he was just debt uh, like you know release control of it at just the right moment so he could intercept with that down smash that's something we've been seeing uh, consistently actually from coltman is knowing exactly when he has to you know relinquish control of the nikita so that he can still find an effective punish uh he should be okay as long as he gets these techs oh he's forced to recover high now great jump on that recovery x still with a bit of a percent lead but now he's the one off stage this is honestly maybe the most even game we've seen between these two, I feel. Or at the very least, in terms of the momentum. Feels like this next stock could go either way, absolutely. This could have been the, this could be the most even game we've seen, at the very least since I've hopped on the mic. It's going back and forth, and while the percents are <gasps> have a pretty wide range, I wouldn't I would consider 90 about kill percent if you're playing against Snake. Oh, he got exploded by his own grenade. That lost him. That cost him a huge amount of stage control. I, when does up throw start killing? Oh yeah, he's, he's he's become aware of that as an option. But instead, it's that nice solid forward tilt coming out, and now X is once again in a uh, in a fantastic position at only 100. And never mind, he's in a terrible position. He's in one of the worst positions possible. And up tilt and a dream, Snake. baby. That's all that Snake needs sometimes to get back into a game. A properly placed up tilt, and like X didn't have any chance to extend his lead Coltman stopped that stopped the stock taking momentum and immediately swung it back in his own favor back these recoveries him. are always so scary for both players that tipper is so big almost ending the stock outright great job with that aggressive back air though and now we have these two neck and neck the percents are so close especially oh when you consider respective kill percents here you know definitely marth can die at any instant but one solid tipper from uh from x is all it would require he's in the best oh, position man. to get it he has that stage control finally the recovery works out for x no but jump. he's once again off stage i don't know if he has a jump he doesn't need it he gets back to the ledge but Oh, now they're we're back to neutral after everything. The parries have been so insane this game. Parries on nares, down airs, up airs, everything, and the down smash to cover the roll on top of everything. That just it seals the game for like for Coltman on his counter pick, which looked like it could have gone either way at any moment. The drop yeah. of the hat and a couple of small small I, changes i, I want to ask did he roll up from ledge ever no <laughs> i think that might have been the first time he rolled up from ledge and at that exact instant coltman was ready for it i feel like that was an option that he almost had never done and partially you know it's because we're we, this is like you know the, the the super intense moment and that's when people start to panic and that's often when you see people ledge roll is when they panic but nonetheless the fact he was able to anticipate that in his coverage options and takes the game I'm actually really enjoying the bout between these two players as we move into game four. Yeah, well, some of, some matches can feel like just a direct comparison of tools and options and coverage versus each other. And that's really what uh, Coltman and versus Sonic Fiend felt like. It was what tool do you have for this situation? 
can you cover this between like players going back and back and forth this really feels like two minds trying to understand the ledge gameplay for when Coltman is at ledge trying to get up and when X is at ledge trying to get up and in that Three, bout two, Coltman one, managed to win go. two all three of those uh, two of them with down so, oh interesting so this was this was Coltman's counter pick originally but now we actually see X counter picking to battlefield here so we're gonna have game four on battlefield I think that I can definitely understand why remember the start of game three was so decisively in wow just the tip, ladies and gentlemen. All he needs. <laughs> I, w I, I couldn't even finish my thought. I was talking about how game three was such a decisive lead, but that's nothing compared to what we just saw. X is doing fantastic right now. 65%. He's only taken a single hit this entire game so far. Woo! Oh, my. and he keeps coming. He almost completes the, it completes the zero to death off of nothing. Oh, oh, is he he's, dead? He's, he's dead. dead. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. If Colvin manages to turn this game around after that. <laughs> yes, indeed. Wow. Oh, the game sick. is never out of the reach of Snake thus far. It's like. I will also say that was a bit of overconfidence coming from X. You know, that's the whole. I haven't gotten touched once yet. I'm going to make this. make him suffer. You know, and he went deep for that edge guard and definitely didn't work out for him. If it's the sort of thing where if by some miraculous sentiment. Okay, all right. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Was that just a grenade explosion? That was just a grenade. Three times okay. this set, the grenade has bitten its master. I guess it's a tool. It doesn't have a, a traditional master, but what? whatever. It's... Are, you, are you saying that grenades don't have feelings? Maybe Snake doesn't have feelings. <laughs> maybe Snake, maybe the grenades are the master and Snake is the one who's trying to bite them. Kojima, get on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this game started out so explosively for X. How, using... This is even. I cannot yeah. believe this game is actually even right now. What? In what universe did we just wind up in? We got introduced, or X and us got introduced or reintroduced to Snake Back Air. The strong spot kills mad early, and it lasts for a long enough time to take jumps exactly when you need it. That's a oh, that's C4 right there. Oh man, and once again we have a last hit situation here on Battlefield. Definitely was a much stranger journey to get there this time around, but let's see if we'll be able to like, you know. Coltman was able to take it last time. Does he do it again? He actually won this game. He actually did it. He won the game and he won the set. Coltman managing to claw his way back all the way to get a rematch at Louis Jesus. I, he was, I thought he was going to be down two, three stocks to one at 10%. I can't believe he, I can't believe he managed that. That's incredible. <laughs> so I want to point out in that last stock that X was hit by a grenade follow-up, right? Right about... Right about here. Which is the grenade. Which sets up for his own demise. Whether it was on purpose or on accident, I will probably never know. But just catching the grenade in that moment sealed his demise. Coltman playing so phenomenally in the way that he had to like battlefield was meant for stage control positioning strong ledge trapping but what won him game four was knowing when to push the initiative going off stage with these deep back airs to bring himself back into the game and knowing when to challenge in the air where snake isn't usually meant to do but when he when he got going he really got going 